The unofficial start of summer will be a busy one this year. AAA predicts air travel will hit levels just shy of 2019, with 3 million people expected to take to the skies Memorial Day weekend. With the school year winding down, now is also a time where many families are planning their summer vacations, and some rising airfares are causing sticker shock. A lot of it is all the extra stuff there. News 6 is insider guide Crystal Moyer is here now with some help on how to avoid those annoying airline fees. They yeah. catch you at the end. It mm-hmm. could be difficult especially when you're looking for like the cheapest flight that might mean there's other fees tacked on so it's happened to many of us just when you think you found a great deal like I mentioned you realize the price does not include those annoying fees everything from a checked bag to selecting a seat that can sometimes add big bucks to the ticket price but as Consumer Reports explains there are some simple ways to avoid them. Consumer Reports editor Ponche Ho thought she was getting a good deal on a flight to Florida until she looked a little closer. It was a carry-on bag fee that I was most surprised by. The fees for my flight uh, were more expensive than the airfare itself. Ponche's experience is not uncommon, according to Consumer Reports aviation advisor Bill McGee. These days, many airlines make more money off of fees than they do over base airfares. So what can you do to save? Start by checking out the airline's website to find out exactly what's included in the price for the type of ticket you are considering. Then decide what extras you're willing to pay for. Ask yourself, what could they possibly be charging me? Baggage is the most obvious, even carry-on baggage, a seat assignment, uh, early boarding. And while many airlines have loosened or even eliminated change or cancellation fees, Southwest, for example, allows for two free checked bags, a rarity. If you're a frequent flyer on the same airline, consider that airline's credit card, which could offer valuable perks such as free checked bags, priority seat selection and boarding, and other valuable travel treats. Ponche plans to do some more traveling this summer. She knows the flights will likely be very crowded and cost more than last year. Bill McGee has this final piece of advice for snagging a decent fare. If you see a fare right now and you think you're going to be traveling this summer, my advice is to book it. That's right. Book it if you're trying to avoid a checked bag fee by you can tr- avoid a checked bag fee by only packing a carry on. Consumer report says to remember there are very strict rules when it comes to the sizes of any carry ons you may have. Ladies, you know, when you go to the airport, mm-hmm. they have those stands. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Make sure you don't pack anything larger than that because they're going to make you check. It. Yeah. A That's lot right. of them now charge for the carry on, too. But you can stick a lot of things in a personal item. You yeah. know? Yes. <laughs> and you can wear a lot of things. <laughs> you know what? If you use those packing cubes. That makes yeah. everything so much easier. Yeah, to, to yes. get everything like mm-hmm. condensed down. That makes a big difference. Let me tell really you is. the difference yeah. between my purse on a regular day and my purse yeah. when I'm at the airport. Big, yeah. big difference. Big yes. bag. <laughs> but just small enough, right, right Crystal? Right, yeah. right. No, I refuse to check bags. I know. Um, it's just such a pain. So mm-hmm. I'm, I may be wearing three coats. But exactly. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Put on all your clothes. All of it. Uh, yes. Several pants. Right. Thanks, Crystal.